Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Blancpain L Evolution Flyback Chrono Super Trofeo Limited Edition of 600 pieces. You can see and you can purchase this flyback chronograph in titanium and carbon fiber on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see this limited edition in high resolution images for your desktop with all additional accessories included in the sale and complete pricing information. Just click that card in the upper right hand corner to go straight to our listing. Now you can see on my wrist six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch is large and quite impressively wrought. A distinct departure from the earlier rather delicate one might even say dainty imagery of Blancpain timepieces, the 2009 to present L Evolution series really hit its stride when it began to take cues from the world of automotive racing, specifically via its partnership with Lamborghini. And shortly after the launch of the L Evolution series in 2010, this watch debuted incorporating automotive imagery and material themes into a high performance flyback chronograph. Now the watch is 43.5 millimeters in diameter across the round of the case, not including the chronograph pushers, not including the crown. It's fairly slim, only 13 millimeters thick. It has a generously stepped and sloped bezel, so it will easily fit underneath a tighter sleeve or formal cuff, although the character of the watch perhaps is a bit unseemly for the most formal of attire. Nevertheless, it is the man who makes the watch, and if you've got the panache, you may as well wear it to a wedding. From lug to lug, the watch is large, but not overbearing. 52 millimeters from lug to lug, but the shape of the lugs and the combination of a titanium and carbon fiber case ensures that this one wears easily on a smaller wrist. I would say down to about 15 centimeters in circumference, you can wear this one with perfect proportion. And again, because of the carbon fiber lugs, the carbon fiber case inserts, the titanium case and bezel, the watch is very light in the hand. It's unobtrusive and comfortable in all cases. And a big reason for that is because it has very short and sharply downward turned lugs. They wrap themselves around the wrist rather than flaring out. This is a rare case of a big watch that wears small. Now, the strap is superb. It's Alcantara, which is an upscale simulated suede material frequently used in driver's kit, as well as contact points within a high performance automobile, such as the steering wheel, the shift knob, and in some of the best of the best luxury performance automobiles, it's even used for the headliner. Now you may say simulated suede leather, why is that on a luxury watch? Well, the reason is because Alcantara is in fact more difficult to procure and more expensive to buy, as well as more durable than suede. So in every respect, it has the leg up on the natural article. Plus on the underside, it features a wonderful natural rubber inlay. So it's both resistant to sweat, moisture and grit, as well as oils of the wrist and incredibly comfortable. This ensures that the Alcantara will last even longer. Now the clasp is quite robust. Double deployant, so again, that's a feature that works well on a smaller wrist. It's easier than when you have the one big up and over of a single fold, less likely to pinch smaller forearms like mine. Plus it has a twin trigger system, so you can see the swing arm doubles as a spring. Very secure when closed, it requires positive release to disengage and pop open. Plus the clasp itself is made of brushed stainless steel for extra durability. These rather thin members cast in steel rather than titanium for strength. Now, the watch features a complex automotive and more specifically motorsports inspired dial. You can see the subtle shield form of Lamborghini's logo, minus the raging bull, in the hour counter at 9 o'clock. There are many layers to this very dynamic dial. There's the outermost metallic brushed hour track with fully luminescent dart indices and highly stylized natural loom and red Arabic numerals 9 and 12. You'll also note that the watch features a step down to the central dial and a carbon fiber pattern that appears almost to have a holographic effect. It looks three dimensional. It moves, it dances, and it plays with the light as you rotate the watch on your wrist. Even in the soft light of my light box, it's highly reactive. And you'll note there is a subtle metallic grain to all of the applied metallic elements of the dial from the hour race to the inner registers. Very handsome, also easy to read. Now it features a flyback chronograph function so you can reset and restart 
the chronograph simply by pressing the reset trigger at 4 o'clock. This is useful for timing automotive events because, for instance, the interval between two cars as they pass the finish line, the end of one lap and the beginning of another, these are consecutive events in rapid succession in which simply pressing one button to reset and restart has a marked functional advantage. And although you can't see it too easily, there is a date window at 6 o'clock just covered by the minute hand, and it does have a quick set feature so you can rapidly cycle it to correct. Now the case back gives you a good look at the Blancpain Caliber F185. It's based on the legendary Piguet 1185 vertical clutch, column wheel, automatic integrated chronograph movement. The bridge work on this movement ranges from very good in certain cases to downright outstanding on par with the likes of a Vacheron or Patek. Again, there is a range of finish in evidence on this movement, so it isn't quite at the level of the absolute top of the industry, but it is exceptionally good and above that which you will find on models from Zenith, Jezure Le Coult, Glasuta Original, or Gerard Perigo in this price range. There's a beautiful checkered flag style motif on top of the gold winding mass, and you'll note the balance beating away to stately 3 hertz or 21,600 vibrations per hour. You'll also note the crenellated and polished column wheel just below my thumb. This is the function selector of the movement and underneath the winding bridge there is a vertical clutch mechanism which enables the watch to simply run continuously. If you like to have center seconds you can leave the chronograph engaged on this watch without any hazard to the movement. That's the advantage of a vertical clutch. The advantage of a vertical clutch Second fold is the ability to start the chronograph without any kind of jump and stop it without stagger. And of course it always resets precisely to the index of 12, the advantage of not having meshing gears as part of the system. The watch also features a robust screw down crown and 100 meter water resistance so that 37 joule 40 hour power reserve automatic chronograph is well protected. You can see and you can purchase this distinctive motorsports inspired chronograph on our website.